So now I want to talk about removing strips from hives. Um, it's a really good idea to not take them, to not leave them in your hives till the moment you're take, putting the boxes on because there's a problem, you're, there are potential problems with residues. Um, the synthetic pyrethroids like Bavrol and Apistan, they have the advantage that they're they only leave re they're wax soluble, so they only leave residues in wax. They don't leave residues in honey. But when you're extracting honey, if you don't have a very good cleanup process for removing all the wax, you can get residues of these products um, in honey. Armatraz, and there's a couple of products on the market with that, is soluble in water as well as wax, and you can get residues in honey because of using them. That's why it's important to take them out of your hives at least two weeks before you put your honey boxes on. And when you take them out, the next question of course is, what do you do with them? Um, manufacturers, when they sell you these products, they have to provide instructions on how to dispose of them. And for Bavril, the disposal here is, um, the used strips can be safely wrapped in paper and placed in domestic refuge. Okay, so check how to dispose of them. What you don't want to do is drop them around the apiary site. And I've seen commercial outfits and hobby outfits where you can find strips on the ground, um, which is not really not a good look. Um, also, especially if they're stock, um, they can start chewing them on as well. So you need to follow the instructions reasonably well. So what we did when we put strips in these hives and what we recommend everybody does is they write the number of strips on the lid. That way they can account for them all because um, they do fall through sometimes on the floorboard and it's not uncommon when you're inspecting other people's hives to find the old strip down there they've gone about completely but by writing them on the lid you can be sure to get them all. Okay so we know there's four hives, four strips in this colony. The thing, important thing to remember is gloves even if you don't use them in beekeeping. Um, plastic gloves particularly for handling these, not your bee gloves. Um, the leather on your bee gloves will get coated and then the stuff you have in your strips and you'll start spreading it everywhere else you're working, so it's better to have some special gloves. Um, if, you, if you've got four on the lid and you only find three inside, then you're gonna have to look down on the floorboard, but at least you know you can get them all, you know how many there are there. So, come out easy. You need something to put them in, of course. Um, and again, you've gotta be careful not to drop any around your apiary site. Um, so that's it. So in summary, um, make sure you've you have when you put your strips in, written your lid, your um, number of strips on the lid, so you can get them all back again. Try to take them out of your hives at least two weeks before the honey flow to reduce the chance of contamination of the honey crop. And then make sure you follow the instructions when you remove them, and wear gloves. Um, it's, you just want, it's really a good idea not to handle them with bare skin or your beekeeping gloves.